Hey guys, and welcome to another live stream. Uh, we're going to be doing a Cubase tips tutorial, and um, this is kind of a bit of a follow on for some of the other videos that I've done in regards to making templates. Um, and I want to show you something a little bit different today, which involves the media section here over on the far right of the Cubase window. And you can actually use this to great effect when you're building a template or if you want to load up a particular instrument that you've already preset in the past. So for example, let's say you've made a, a strings, uh, loaded up one of your favorite um, string libraries and you've already set up um, the the mics how you like, you've already set up your expression maps how you like and everything's just, you know, you spent all that time putting it together and you don't particularly want to redo that again if say you wanted to recall this particular setting in a different session. What you can do is actually use a thing called track um, track presets inside of Cubase and what this will do is it will actually save the all of the channels information so it will remember all the settings and you can recall that at any point if you want to load it up so it saves you just faffing around. Now to do this is really really simple in Cubase. You literally just click on whatever it is you want to save uh, I haven't done it, I don't think I've done it for cellos so we'll do it with the cellos so you, you select the ch the track, you right click on it and you'll have track presets here where you can load one or you can save one. So obviously I want to go to save track preset but before I do that I just want to copy the name here uh, and then go to save track preset and then if paste that in and you'll see it'll pop up here in the media window. Now under, under the media window if I just navigate to where you start from You've got instruments, presets, user presets, loops and samples, blah, 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 blah. We're going to be looking at instruments for this. So if you click on the instrument, uh, sorry, not instruments tab, presets tab. If you click on that, on that and go to track presets, you'll then have the option of instruments and multi. And I'll talk about multi in a second. This is really, really handy. So under instruments is where our new track preset has been saved. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go and do the same for the bases as well. And save that. Now what this means is if I say I was working on a new template and I wanted to in fact let's do that let me just close this down this might take a couple of minutes to close down because it is quite a big session that one let me just close that down for a second let it do its thing and we'll wait for that so what this will will, will do is that we can start a fresh session and we can recall those particular settings and, and load up the instrument and not have to worry about setting up the maps or anything like I say. But what's really handy is that you can do this, uh, you can do a multi a selection. So you could select all of your strings channels and save that as a track preset. And then you can recall that in a new session. So you can load up all of those strings in that session. Okay, and it'll all be colored, it'll all be ready to go and you don't have to worry about it. So I think this is still doing its thing. It takes a little bit while to close down on some of the projects. I've noticed um, when using East West's uh, play engine, it takes a while to load things up and it also takes a while to close things down. Whereas with contact, it's much, much quicker. So here we go, that's finished doing its thing. So if I go to a new project and just create something completely empty here. So we saved those track presets earlier and what I can do now is go back over to my presets and go to the instruments one and I can literally just drag and drop this in so this will create my instrument track and it'll have my violin on and it'll have the settings I had last and also it will have my expression map loaded onto it as well so that's really really handy so you can just literally drag and drop whatever you need from the media window into your session and you don't have to worry about create right clicking and going to create a new instrument track and setting it up that way you can literally just drag and drop things in how you want which is really really handy now going off what I said where you can select multiple um, channels and save them as a preset I've already done one for my um, CS2 strings so uh, what I would do is just go back here instead of going to the instruments go to multi and you can see here I've got this full string sets for CS2 so I can literally just drag and drop that into the project window here 
and now this will create all of the different instances of my instrument tracks with CS2 loaded on and all the expression maps loaded out as well. So there you go. It straight away remembers what I've done and I don't have to mess around, you know, go and add instrument. Oh, I want to create a new one like so. And then go, oh, I need to find my patch. I need to load it up. And this is kind of the tedious things when you're making templates is that every time you go to make a new template, you often find yourself redoing everything from scratch again. So you, you're loading up your particular instrument you want, then you've got to load up your expression map for it. Whereas if you save it as a track preset, you can just literally drag and drop it into your session and never have to worry about doing that again. So it's a really, really cool way of building your projects. So if we just um, close these down, and I'll do another example here for those of you that have just joined us. So let's let's say, let's create, I don't know, uh, let's create Easy Drummer. And let's load another instance of contact. Let's make that actually let's add another instance of that. So let's say we got a basic session. So we got drums. Let's make this a bass. And let's say this is a, a guitar. Okay. So we've got the drums loaded up here. Let's say I want to use a completely different kit. I want to use, I don't know, a metal kit or something like that. And you know, you've messed around with the mixer and you've got it sounding how you want. And then if we go to contact here and load up a bass sample, uh, let's use Scarby Rickenbacker. Let's just use that. Okay, and then you've you've selected, I don't know, the sound and done it how you want. And then for the guitars, I'm just going to load up Shreddage here. Uh, light one, a bit quicker to load when it likes to load. And this thing does, even with a batch resave, this thing does take a little bit longer to load. It always has done. Um, but yeah, when this is loaded in, I'll show you how to do the multi saves if it will load in. This is not cool. I hate waiting. Don't know about you guys. Oh my goodness. Come on. So yeah, when this eventually loads, what I'll do is I'll show you how to do. Um, the batch save so you can literally recall all of these things into your project wow maybe it's died i hope not that'd be terrible okay here we go there we go it's finally loaded up so what we will do now is say you've got these all set up for your session you can select them all holding shift and then clicking, you know, you click the top one and then hold shift and click the bottom one, it'll select them all. And then if you go to your save track preset, and we can call this, I don't know, uh, drums, bass, guitar, metal, okay, and save that. And then that will appear over on the right hand side here when it's finished saving, or it should do. Oh, I might have to refresh this, either that or it hasn't saved. No, it has done it, it just hasn't refreshed it here. Oh my god, I always keep going to the wrong ones. There we go. It takes a little bit for it to come back in once it's realised it's there. But now you can see those three tracks have been saved into the media bay here, so I can get rid of them if I wanted to. But let's say I, I like the sound of that setup that I made and I want to recall it. You literally just navigate to it here and you drag it and you drop it over and then Cubase will do its thing and load up those particular settings again. So it's a really quick way and, and you can see it's remembered all the little things that I did as well. So this is really cool. So it just saves time when you're building your templates and it saves time when you're working on tracks. Uh, if you know you've got a particular setup that you like with certain instruments, you can just drag them in and forget about it. So it's a nice, simple way to use the media browser on the right here.
okay so a short video guys just to show you that um, it is a time saver it's very it's, it, there's a lot of cool things with the media bay I'll go into it in, in a different video um, but for now I thought that one might be useful for you especially if you if you've got template setups and you like to, and you want to take certain elements out of templates and save them as a track preset so you can load it up into a different template without having to do everything from scratch that's a really good way of doing it it's just by saving a track preset with the instruments on and then recalling it later I mean it's just it's just so much better it's so much it's so much better than just creating things from scratch obviously you need to do this and save it but it's, it's a lot more easier to work with so there you go short video on it Hopefully you found it useful guys and as always I'll see you next time.